We want to try to address this problem once and for all. Guilford County Commissioner Chair Skip Alston talking about getting people off the streets, but not just into a shelter, into treatment. Yeah, about one in six people in the county experienced a substance use disorder in the last year. And Alston says the need is there and the time to fix it is now. Fox 8's Sarah Winkleman joins us live along Lee's Chapel Road near the intersection of Yanceyville Street, where this new recovery center will be. So, Sarah, how long do we have to wait for this? Well, Neil, it's going to be about nine months to a year. The county's really hoping to be closer to that nine month mark just to make sure that people can be inside of this facility by the time we get to next winter. Now, there's not a ton of work that needs to be done inside to get the space ready, but what's really holding them up is just making getting those supplies that are on back order. I've asked our county staff uh, to put it on fast track. We can go as fast as we can. If we can get the generator, that we're going to be needing uh, that provides 24 seven uh, protection, then that would be able to cut a lot of months off of it. As the county waits for the generator on back order, they need to renovate inside to meet DHHS standards. There are some requirements as far as uh, space, uh, kitchen requirements, cafeteria requirements, room size, things of that nature. 56 adults can stay at the facility and will receive therapeutic intervention, mental health education, vocational training, and individual services. Residents must be there voluntarily and will go through a screening before being selected. No sex offenders will be allowed. Uh, there's going to be some tight requirements as related to them being able to stay and be committed to being recovered. And then they'll be able, once they leave here, they'll be able to go out and get a job, get housing, and be more of a productive citizen for Gifford County. The county purchased the former St. Gills Manor with $3.4 million in American Rescue Plan Act funds. The final cost will depend on the contractor and the cost of renovations. The county will find the funds in order to open this facility. Uh, this is a priority uh, for our board. The goal is to help the homeless by tackling an even bigger issue, mental health and substance abuse. Hope is on its way. And this would be the first long term treatment facility owned and operated by a Guilford County. There is a short term facility right now over at Gibson Park Recovery Center. The people that provide the services there, that company likely would also be contracted here to run the services inside of this long term facility. Live in Greensboro, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News. Sarah, thank